Hey folks, it's Tom, your frugal prepper. So, I uh, hurt my knee uh, last Friday. Um, this is the following Monday, Labor Day. Um, not a week ago. So, a week's passed, plus it's Monday. So, um, I drove an air hammer pointed bit into my knee. And uh, it hurt pretty bad. I went to get up and fell down like twice and then had to kind of balance myself. And I, I, I managed to hobble to the hospital uh, where they told me that, you know, the x-rays came back and showed that I took a chunk out of my kneecap and uh, cracked it. And but that it was still in one piece, um, so it wouldn't need surgery, and that I'd have to go see like a osteo doctor or something about my knee. Um, it had a big swollen lump on the side of it where the air hammer hit it. It was kind of bruised up, and it went in pretty deep. Let me show you. All right, so this is the uh, weapon <laughs> that I used to injure myself. This is the big uh, chief. Harbor Freight Air Hammer, I call it Chief Nasty, kind of like Big Nasty, but it's not its not as powerful as Big Nasty, but this is a powerful air hammer. Um, and uh, I, I was hammering away on that ball joint rivet. It bounced off, I lost control for a second. I still had my finger on the trigger. I was still pushing down on it, and it just <laughs> right into my knee. Um, by the time I realized what happened, I yanked it back out and then took my finger off the trigger. So it just happened that fast. Um, and so I was knocking out the ball joint rivet. I had the car up on jack stands. I was sitting underneath of it. I had my knee where I shouldn't have had it. And uh, it tore it up pretty bad. So I want to show you um, what it looks like now. So right now this is the only damage here. It's healing up pretty good. It left a pretty good size hole. But this was all swollen up and red and bruised up to about here. Um, and it had a big, you know, lump on it and it hurt. And I couldn't really bend it any more than say about like that much. And now, you know, I can, I can bend it all the way back. You know, so I'm doing pretty good. It starts to hurt about right there, but that's not bad. It still hurts. If I kneel on it, I can still feel it. But the pain that was up here is pretty much gone where like this tendon connects. But they told me it'd be at least three to four weeks before it really started feeling better. Um, I can walk on it like normal now. It doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt to climb steps, go on up, throw it downhill, doesn't hurt. It did a little at first, but I just want to show you what I think helped heal this up so well. And here we go, we let food be thy medicine. So um, I paid the, the hospital $1,300. I still have to pay for radiologists and the doctor. That's just the hospital. It was for a tetanus shot, a Vicodin, an ibuprofen, and one antibiotic pill, $1,300. So uh, <laughs> um, I eat a lot of liver and I've been eating more of it. Liver is a super food. It has all the amino acids and essential fatty acids, like all kinds of vitamins. Like There's tons and tons of vitamins in it. It's got everything the body needs to heal itself. I eat things like bacon, lots of fat. I eat shrimp, I eat cod, I eat eggs, and I fry it all in bacon grease. And not only has that helped me lose over 160 pounds now, it takes injuries like this that would normally take weeks and weeks to heal. And here I am a week later, and it's almost completely healed up. And it, you know, in, in two or three weeks, there'll just be a little scar there, and it won't hurt at all anymore. So um, you'll just notice that when you eat keto and you cut out the carbohydrates and you cut out the fake oils, the seed oils, crepe seed oil, grape seed oils, and soy bean oil, and corn oil, and peanut oil, all of these seed oils, just cut them out, eat butter, 
You know, I guess that's the other thing that I eat a lot of. Butter. Eat butter. Eat eggs. <laughs> you're eating real food. You're watching the carbohydrates that you eat. And you're eating the essential building blocks for life, right? And, um, you know, I also eat, like, beef. And I eat, I eat the gristle on the beef, like gristly fatty beef is really good. Lots of collagen in it. So just something to think about. If your body is old and broken, like I used to barely be able to walk to get out of bed and hobble to the coffee pot, everything always hurt. My back always hurt. My arms always hurt. My legs always hurt. My feet always hurt. My feet hurt a little bit today because I spent all day standing in lines for roller coasters yesterday or all evening. but they feel fine now. And I used to just go to Kings Island and sit while my family rode because I couldn't fit on anything. And just walking from one bench to the next, I just couldn't walk for the next two or three days. Like it just hurt. My feet were completely torn up and now I'll go stand in line and ride them and I'm fine. So, you know, it's a combination, I think of two things. One is seed oils. And the other is high carbohydrate. And that mostly being like high fructose corn syrup. I think that you can eat carbohydrates like rice and potatoes if you don't eat a lot of seed oils with it. But when you mix the two, it starts a metabolic condition that just causes your body to get old way before it's time. So, um, but anyway, I just wanted to share that. Um, and some people have been asking about my knee. I posted a picture of it and uh, it's doing fine. Um, I'm really, it's not hurting at all. Uh, other than when I bend it too much or I kneel down on it. Um, and that's getting better. Anyway, I'll talk to you later. This is Tom. You're free Here's another thing on my leg. This right here. It's got like a white, a really light skin in the middle, but it's, it's really fine. It's just a little dry. But the, this used to be a big, huge the diabetic ulcer that I had for four years that would not go away. It would kind of heal and then come back. And it's been healed up like this now for two years, um, ever since I started keto. So, um, sores that won't heal are part of diabetes. and That's part of a metabolic condition. And taking insulin doesn't solve that problem. Insulin just makes your body rot faster. Um, you're actually better off, you'll live longer if you just have high blood sugar than if you try to correct their blood sugar with medications. But what you really have to do is stop putting sugar in and stop eating seed oils. All right, I'll talk to y'all later.